Hello and welcome to our first educational video. We are back at it. It's uh, been a little while. The summer has been rough uh, and just we kind of halted our progress there. However, now I got my uh, head mount. Thanks to my brother, got me a nice little head mount for my birthday. So thanks again, Jace. Appreciate it. Much obliged. So we can start to talk about the first thing on my mind that I thought we should cover is uh, the Springer prong collar and how it works. Because I know that's kind of an issue for a lot of people. A lot of people give me some shit about this collar. As you can see, it looks a little medieval-like, I suppose. Freaks a lot of folks out. But I'm going to tell you exactly what it's used for um, and exactly how it affects a dog uh, for a service dog, you know? just to show you how it's used as a training tool. It's not actually hurting them or anything. Um, you'll see these usually used on bigger service dogs, such as, you know, German Shepherds, like Wanda, Golden Retrievers, Labs, Poodles, uh, and the like. Um, Wanda. Anyway, I thought it'd be a good idea to get this topic out of the way. There's a lot of people that have a lot of misconceptions about what this thing is or what it's used for. A lot of people look at it as a medieval sort of thing, like, oh, that's gonna murder a dog. Well, that's just not true. This is but just a training tool. Um, it doesn't do anything to harm the dog. Um, let me show you. Wanda, come on over here. Oh, good girl. Well, you can't really tell without you know feeling her neck but that is one thick muscular neck if you put this thing on a human it's bound to do some damage but uh we're a little more fragile than this all this does is simulate a pinch sort of similar to you know what their mothers used to do when they were pups and they were misbehaving or doing something wrong uh they would give those dogs like a little nip on the neck like a little nippy nip in a little pinch and the dog would respond to that like oh I did something wrong because they're smart you know they learn they learn by that sort of stuff it's just it is what it is it doesn't hurt them it just gives them a little reminder it's for their own safety it's for their safety it's for their person's safety we do a lot of night walks where she is completely guiding me and uh um, when we're doing guide work, it's important for me to be strict. Um, a false move, uh, if she gets out of focus, if she does something reckless, it could mean our lives. So it's very important for us to keep on track and on the same page. It is just a game for her. Dogs live in the moment. She snaps out of it. She realizes, oh, I did something wrong. And it was just a little pinch. Uh, come here, girl. But this is her collar. Like I said, her neck muscles are very thick, so it doesn't cause her any discomfort. The only time they feel that pinch is when a correction happens, and that is, I will not do it on here, but you are bound to see me correct her in some of our videos, and some of her guy work sometimes. She doesn't mess up too much. She's very good at what she does, but she makes mistakes just like everyone else and that's okay she does a great job though and you're gonna see that in the upcoming videos one sit and it is a training tool it reinforces behavioral discipline and I haven't really had to correct her for behavioral stuff you know I haven't really have had to do anything like that lately too much uh, you know, she's really pretty well behaved at home when she's off duty. Well, except when I'm vacuuming anyway. What is your deal? What's your deal? What, what are you staring at? What? Wanda! Hey! What is your deal?
Honda! All right, up, up. Leave it. Good girl. Wanda. There's nowhere else to go but straight. So the video I'm working on now, oh geez, I keep moving my head. I wanna, I wanna talk to people or try to, I've been shooting stuff talking about uh, prong collars, right? And how they work and what they're used for. I feel like that's uh, gonna be an issue for a lot of people as it already is. I get a lot of bullshit about that sometimes. Uh, and odds are people are gonna see me correct her every now and then when I'm doing guide work. Unfortunately, that's just how it is and has to be done for her own safety. Oh, on mine too. She's got to be reminded, but the thing, you know, it, it doesn't actually hurt her. It just gives her a little pinch. It's supposed to simulate like when she's a pup and her mom used to nip at her neck for being a dummy. That's kind of the same deal. A lot of people just think it's animal abuse or something. And I've had people tell me that, well not tell me directly, but I hear people talking loud enough saying like, uh, oh, look at that poor dog. She's so mistreated. Or uh, uh, that guy is really abusing that animal over there or something like that. Uh, it's goofy. Goofy nonsense. All that aside, I totally understand where these folks are coming from. Granted, a lot of these folks are older people, and that's okay. I get it. You know, they read something in the paper, or they uh, watch too much Fox 10 News, and they jump to the worst kind of conclusions. However, now you can show your nana, or your pap pap, or your grandmama this video, and tell them that obviously if they see someone yanking their little rat terrier or their boxer dog off the ground with one of these collars uh, they should definitely call the cops for sure but if they see a dog just sitting there minding its own biz uh, she's 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 not sad you know she's not being mistreated that's just her face you know she has fur that looks like she has eyebrows whatever anyway yeah so that's our first educational segment. Um, I would never recommend anyone use a Springer prong collar on their dog without proper instructional Wanna use by a trainer. Hey. And that's oh. my message of the day. I hope you all enjoyed. Please subscribe and happy Halloween to you all. Thank you for tuning in.